Bryan District has been doing these types of projects since 1992, and it's typically our FM system, lower volume. We recycle the existing pavement and add a stabilizer to it to strengthen it, either lime or cement. There's some with fly ash, some with emulsions. You may add a layer of flex space if that's needed for additional strength and then a seal coat surface. Over the years, we've refined our method in our design procedures and our construction procedures. And what we wanted to do was to document the best practices of design and, and construction of these type projects. Other districts around the state have also had experience with this and we wanted to look statewide and also at other areas that are doing these types of projects to get all the best practices documented. There's concern when you use a stabilizer that you're going to get severe cracking, but we've over time been able to control cracking from the stabilizers by designing the proper quantity of stabilizer. And we do that by looking at two things. One is an, a minimum strength and the other is a retained strength to make sure we don't get damage from moisture because moisture getting into the base and weakening it is the biggest problem. Some of the issues with it are traffic control because we're constructing ours under traffic so there's going to be a while the traffic's driving on an unfinished surface. But we usually limit the amount of unsurfaced road we have. And so so some of the larger districts have concerns with that, but we typically limit it where we construct within traffic to lower volumes, say, say 2,000 ADT or less. It's a little bit slower than doing an overlay. However, when you do this type of work, you get a full depth structure repair. And the cost of stabilizing the existing road is about the same price as adding the two inch lift a hot mix and you're ending up with, say, about a 10 inch structural layer versus two inch. One of the limiting factors is how much hot mix you have on the road. We typically like to only blend 50% old hot mix into the base. On 290, we actually did some milling first. We didn't have to mill all the hot mix out, but we milled out enough so that we had a 50-50 blend left. The biggest advantage is that you get a thicker structural layer. You're not really changing the profile, so you don't have any kind of drop-offs. You're recycling the existing material, so you're saving money. It's a very economical way to rehab the roadway. We're making good use of the taxpayers' money and we're ending up with a really good uniform product when we're done.